my husband actually duped my ring. For more on luxury dupes, keep watching. I'm back with another why buy video and now today we're talking about why buy or why not buy dupes. But when I'm speaking of dupes, I'm talking about items that are inspired by the original design. It is illegal to sell and purchase non-authentics, i.e. fakes, so I do not support it on my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the top five luxury dupes. We're gonna get started with fragrances. Would you dupe fragrances? I do fragrances because sometimes I just want a lighter scent or maybe I just want similar notes but I don't like a particular note that's in the original. Or I simply just wanna save money and don't wanna spend the full amount for the original perfume. I'm actually fairly new to fragrance dupes. My niece told me about the company Dossier that does these dupes for luxury perfumes and I decided to try them out. So I have the dupes for the MFK, I have a dupe for Creed, and I also have a dupe for Flower Bomb. I have the original MFK perfume and the dupe is very close to the scent. There are some slight differences in the notes used to make the Dossier perfumes. However, keep in mind that Dossier only do scents that are inspired by the original. They don't actually copy it exactly. When it comes to the price, the dupes are considerably less than the original. The regular price for the dupes tend to be around $49, but a lot of times you can find them on sale. And of course, for the originals, the price could be very expensive, like over $400. Number two is jewelry. Would you dupe jewelry? Sometimes I like the overall style of a jewelry piece, but I want to customize it to make it a little bit more unique for me and not something that you can see worn by the masses. A lot of times I do jewelry pieces that are trending and last, sometimes I just want to save money. Sometimes I, you know, it's not an item that I want to invest a whole lot of money in. So I just buy the dupe to save the money. I got this bracelet from Kate Spade and it's just a cute little bangle style bracelet. It kind of gives you, you know, kind of the ballpark look of like a love bracelet but of course it's not it has the little like rhinestones on it and then here's another bracelet i found online and it gives you the look of the like a nail head bangle like the cartier uh just on clue bracelet now here's some earrings that i actually got from a department store and it came with this necklace and like little pearl as well and it has the look of like a Chanel like chain strap and I love this. About 15 years ago, I gave my husband this picture of a Takari ring. 15 years ago, this ring was about $10,000, $11,000 with the specifications I wanted. My husband actually got me this ring and it is quite similar and I love it. He saved thousands on this ring. Number three is accessories. Do you dupe accessories? Sometimes I dupe an accessory just to get a piece without the logo all over it. I also do trendy accessories. This include color trends. So when it comes to luxury items, I like to get them in neutral so I can increase my cost per wear. But when it comes to the fun, trendy colors, I like to get the dupes. And last, I like to get dupes to save money. Sometimes the pieces are just not worth the money to me, so I end up buying the dupe instead. Any type of sandal that is in a you know fun, funky colorway, that I know I'm not gonna wear on the regular, I'm duping it. Now, I could have gotten the Hermes sandals, but I would not get it in this colorway. I would prefer to purchase it in a neutral color. 
when it comes to belts so the tory burch belt has very similar design features as the kelly belt so here's the opening of it it kind of gives you the same look and feel like the kelly belt except it's not like a turn lock or anything on it but the thing i love the most about the kelly belt is the mechanism used to tighten the belt like on each side and this Tory Burch belt had that mechanism and that's all I wanted. I wanted that, of course, I wanted a decent quality of leather and this belt is a decent quality. I won't say it's on the level with the Hermes leather quality, but it is a good quality leather. And with a lot of these dupes out there that basically looks more like the Kelly belt, it has the actual look and design, but it, skips out on the quality most of the time it's not even real leather so i really don't like those i prefer a leather belt when it comes to scarves you know i love my burberry and everything nice little wool scarf but these things can get pricey so i basically buy dupe when i want a different color uh, way for a particular brand I typically try to find a dupe, you know, so I found this dupe. This came from Target years ago, still has the tag on it because guess what? I don't really wear scarves that often, especially the thicker ones. Because I live down south in a warmer climate, so that's why I prefer to just dupe it. Number four is SLGs. Would you dupe SLGs? So I dupe SLGs where there is a particular style or material that basically is not a expensive material. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of money buying the luxury version, here, like canvas. Canvas is not real leather. So I wouldn't mind duping something, you know, that comes in canvas. Also, if it's a really trendy piece, something that I'm not quite sure about in terms of my long-term collection, I will dupe the SLG. And last but not least, I will dupe an SLG to save money. With this key pouch, I really wanted the LV Demier azure key pouch and at the time this was years ago it was sold out it continued to be sold out i could not get my hands on one and i wanted one to go in one of my azure bags so i ended up getting this dupe and this dupe is by i don't i don't know i'll put a link if i can find if this company still exists but this is daisy rose and i think it was like on walmart.com that i found this but yeah, and I actually like it. I ended up really liking this dupe. Now, I still want a actual LV Demier Azor SLG. So I do see that they are coming out with some new SLGs. But check out my video where I go over some of the items that are coming out in that collection. Now, I know there's a dupe all over social media. For the Kelly wallet, but I am too much of a fan of the Hermes brand and the Kelly wallet to dupe it. I do have, this is authentic Kelly wallet. It's an older one, you know, it, it has some wear on it, but still, um, no, I'm not duping this. I prefer the original because of the quality, mainly because of the quality. I did see on Amazon that there's a wallet there and it's great for someone who doesn't want to invest a lot in a wallet. They just want, you know, they like a little stylish wallet or whatever. When it comes to wallets and a lot of my SLGs, I tend to actually use them in different ways. I make them multifunctional, turn them into walks. So I do look for more higher quality SLGs, specifically when we're talking about leather goods. I prefer more higher quality leather. That's why I don't tend to purchase many dupes that are in leather. In my experience, the dupes just don't measure up when it comes to the quality of the leather and the craftsmanship in terms of the stitching. 
I am a stickler for stitching. Number five is bags. Would you do handbags? Now when it comes to duping luxury handbags, I typically do this when there's a trend that I'm not quite sure of. Like initially, I really like the design and I like maybe the style and everything, but I'm having an issue with the best value piece, with basically the price. There's also been cases where I like the overall design of the original, but there are some like design flaws or there's some key elements that I don't really like. And the dupe actually have a better design. Basically, if it's not looking like it's worth the money, there's no value in the original, or it doesn't hold value, then I mean, I go ahead and get a dupe. And last but not least, of course, to save money. Sometimes I'm just not trying to spend a whole lot of money to achieve a certain look. So I just go ahead and go for the dupe and keep my coins in my pocket. Now I did do the Valentino rock stud prior to actually buying my rock stud bag. And I will have to say in this instance, the dupe was better. I know that might sound crazy. Not better in the quality of materials or anything like that, but in design because look, no studs on the back. Like this was perfect because I wish the original did not have studs on the back where you wear it crossbody and it presses up against your leg or your body. That's the only thing I don't like about the Valentino rock stud or Roman stud is these sharp studs, you know, having that in the back. So the actual dupe does not have any studs in the back and it doesn't have any at the very top so that the interior doesn't get punctured by the studs. Like, hello. So this is the only dupe I think I've had that I actually like better than the real thing in terms of the design. I mean, the quality could be improved, but then again, if it was, this would not be inexpensive. So, you know, kind of, that's kind of the point with the dupes. So in this case, I think it is a good combination of design and quality for the price. When I purchased my first dupes like many, many years ago, I really didn't understand dupes like I do today, particularly those that look exactly like the original brand. You know, they may not have the markings on it, but they basically copy the exact design. I didn't really understand the damage that that does and how that's such a great area that basically today I would not play in that area, you know, at least not on purpose. Now, back then I did purchase a lot of dupes with the intent to, you know, get a feel for the design because I actually wanted to purchase the original design. And for a lot of them, I actually purchased the original design and then I like gave away the dupes. So, I would say today, if I had to start over again, there are a lot of dupes that I probably would not have purchased. As a creative, as a designer myself, I would not want to support stealing someone else's designs. I try to stay away from the dupes that are a complete copy of the original design, but you know, it's weird how Companies like Steve Madden continue to put out designs that are very close. Like their Hermes sandal dupes, I didn't realize how close to the design that they were until I brought them home and compared them to my sandals. Yeah, just be careful when you're buying dupes because it could get a little tricky. It's just as bad as trying to buy an authentic item on the pre-loved market and making sure that you're not getting a non-authentic bag. Same thing with the dupes. You kind of got to be careful to make sure that you're actually getting a dupe and not something that is trying to pass off as a real thing. 
Also, be careful when purchasing dupes on Amazon. I have had a situation in the past where there was a listing that did not include any trademark material, any branding or anything like that on the dupe. But when I received it in the mail, it did in fact have the brand's name on it. So I was able to return it and I also reported it to Amazon because that sort of thing is illegal. In case you're not aware, there have been several consumers who have received legal action for actually purchasing non-authentic items. And this can happen to anyone where you and not intentionally purchase a non-authentic item because you were led to believe that the item was a dupe and not something that was infringing on a brand's intellectual property or trademark. So be very careful when purchasing dupes. Let's talk in the comments. Do you dupe? If so, let me know some of the things that you like to do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.